Hello, everybody! You stay here cowering in the dark. I'll go beat the bad guy. Good luck, moist savior. We'll be fighting by your side, in spirit, from down here. I can't even recap what's happened in this game anymore. How do I get out of here? Well, first off... Okay. Six Semper Tyrannus, Junior! Yeah, we. That brain screw's a menace. And it makes people speak in gobbledygook. I think that's Latin, Max. Okay. Time to get out of here. I will automatically teleport because we're attached to, to Sam now. Okay, well, cops are in the car. And then Hail the Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac. Where would you like to go today, Sam? Perhaps you'd like to give a gift to Lord Salmon Mac. Or maybe make a visit to Salmon Mac's planetarium throne room to bask in his glory. Or maybe you'd just like to cruise around the city taking in the wonders that Lord Salmon Mac has bestowed on us. Those all sound swell, guys, but I think I'll let Max pick the destination today. He's in a bit of a funk. You know who could fix that? Sam on Mac. Oh, wow. I have uh, some ideas of, of what to do. But I want to explore the world a little more because there's a lot of it. How come your Lord Salmon Mac hasn't fixed the city's broken down payphones? He's phasing in brand new communications technology. A vast network of vacuum tubes? Nope. Messenger slaves crawling through a vast network of vacuum tubes. Salmon Mac rules. Lousy punks have no respect for spelling. Salmon Mac shatters storm. Citizens rejoiced as Lord Salmon Mac used his mighty powers to disperse a thunderstorm in advance to his annual visit to our fair city. And look, there's a picture. Okay. Oh, look, Sam, a door! Let's kick it in and blast the hell out of the poor slobs on the other side. Come on, Sam, what do you say? Huh? I hate the new reality! Nothing says beloved ruler like a ubiquitous surveillance network. Okay. have my toy I need to give this to the general hey. Wow what do you call deja vu in the future deja vu oh Lord salmon Mac's gonna love this hmm looks like someone's about to give Lord salmon Mac the perfect gift I hope it's me okay. We don't have a gift, but we can talk to these jerks.
Hey, Sal. Sam. I just love your Sam and Mac accessory. Pretty sweet, huh? That's my ornament of fealty. Lord Sam and Mac gave it to me for exposing an evil heretic. A heretic? What, did he deny the quadrine nature of the esoteric illuminations? Worse. He didn't salute fast enough. That is bad. So, to get my own ornament of fealty, I need to expose a heretic? Heretics aren't so easy to find these days. Everyone knows you gotta bow down to Salmon Mac if you wanna stay out of the pit of contrition. Okay, well, that's that. We, we know where that's going. I see you got a new job. Grand Vizier Paperweight was so impressed with my work as a museum security guard that he promoted me to the chief offering collector here at the regional offering vault 714. It's true, you cockroaches really are survivors. Yep, and now I don't even have to patrol. All I gotta do is guard this door and take gifts into this impenetrable offering vault. It's a little slice of heaven. How go the offerings today? Ah, eh, you know how it is. In a tough economy, charitable contributions go right down the toilet. Even gifts to Lord Salmon Mac? I know. The guy creates the sky and the stars and the creatures of the field, and people let a little thing like a double-dip recession stop them from paying their respects. It's a sick, sad world, Sal. I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. Oh, yeah? I can't accept just any old thing, you know. The omnipotent one is kind of picky. What you got? How about a handsome but seldom useful firearm? Lord Salmon Mac doesn't need guns. He could drop an army by wrinkling his cute little nose. I didn't know my cute little nose could wrinkle. How about an authentic Egyptian brain screw? Ooh, that's a really bad idea, Sam. Why? Can you hear? Salmon Mac hates those things. I should destroy it right now. We'd better hold on to it just in case Lord Salmon Mac changes his mind. Yeah, okay. He is a whimsical overlord. <laughs> Jeez. How about this nifty brain in a jar? Ooh, that's a really bad idea, Sam. Why? I'd make a perfect gift. For most people, sure, but Lord Salmon Mac has a thing about disembodied brains. Some sort of unresolved past life issues. Oh, yeah. I remember reading about that in his autobiography. It looks like you'll have to stay out here with me, little buddy. You know, if Max here wasn't a brain, he'd probably make a fine offering. Sam and Mac loves it when people offer up their friends as gifts. Um, uh, on second thought, I don't think I have anything worthy of his plenipotency at the moment. I hear ya. I got worthiness issues myself. <laughs> hey, Sal, does his absolute perfectionist have any empty bodies in there? My buddy's in the market for one. I'm sure he wouldn't miss it. First of all, the answer is no. Lord Salmon Mac doesn't have any empty bodies in there. Rats. Second of all, you really shouldn't kid around about stealing from the big guy. That kind of talk could get the Grand Vizier and his goons all over your keisters. If I had a butt, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. <laughs> Fair enough. Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When we think of Salmon Mac, we give a big salute. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. Okay, sign spinning guy. Hey, stop bothering me. I finally found my place in Sam and Mac's blessed world, and I don't need my bubble rubbed by no freelance police. <laughs> wow. Okay, fine. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac. Yeah, yeah, hail Salmon Mac. Frankie the Rat it is. We could try uh, the museum at some point, but my feeling is we can't get in. But we can get all the phone numbers for places, and that'll help.
What's that? Right in the La Bonza. Frankie. Ah, jeez, as if I don't have enough trouble today. Now I gotta deal with the freaking freelance police. Beat it, coppers. Yeah, let us fleece our cousin in peace. Do my not ears deceive me, or are those rats mouthing off to us? I believe they are, Max. Shall we make a lesson of them? I believe we shall. Huh? Now be nice while we talk to your cousin. That's some sweet Salmon Mac themed bling you got there. Bling? <laughs> Do people still say that? And not just any bling. This here's a genuine pendant of Inquisition, given to me by Lord Samu Mac after I personally checked the 160,000 orifices of 20,000 guests at the security checkpoint of His Majesty's Summer Soiree. Classy. Tell me we're not going to do that. Can I uh, borrow your thingy of Inquisition? No! How about throwing it in the pot to spice things up a little? Nah, I'll stick with cash. Okay. What sort of low-rent criminal shenanigans are you and your Ken perpetrating out here? And please keep in mind that I can see the future, so I'll know if we'll be slapping you around for lying to us later on. Hey, there's nothing illegal going on here, honest. Me and my cousins were just engaging in a little friendly wagering over Samu Max, uh, what you call it, uh, gladiatorial bouts. Really? Yeah. Uh, of course we don't actually bet on who wins or loses. That Skunkape gorilla's impossible to beat. Uh, so we bet on what the general's finishing move's gonna be. Finishing move? <laughs> How 90s? <laughs> when General exactly. Skunkape finishes off an opponent, he'll use one of his six signature moves to do the deed. Before each fight, we make bets on which one it's gonna be. Fascinating. No, it's not. Humor the little rat guy, Max. Okay. Could you run through this whole gladiatorial gambling thing again? You probably couldn't tell, but I was asleep the last time. Oh, jeez. Sure, sure, no problemo. Like I said, me and the boys like to bet on which of the six signature finishing moves General Skunkape uses to annihilate his opponent in Samu Mac's pit of contrition. Well, we could tell that with future vision. Hey, you're a rat who knows how to get things. Plague, diphtheria, scabies. Yeah. Have a line on any empty body so that we could drop Max's brain into? I'm getting a little existential in here. <laughs> I'd like to help, guys, but uh, that's a little out of my pay grade. I can fix you up with a nice car stereo, though. Thanks. We'll pass. Let's not be too hasty, Sam. The powers of my psychic brain melded to a kicking sound system could be a formidable force for justice. All right. That Salmon Max sure is the bee's knees, isn't he? You know it, pal. Take a look at this cool bit of bling. If I get a couple more of these accessories of privilege, I'll be hobnobbing with the big ass himself. So, uh, let's try Salmon this. Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When we think of Salmon Mac, we give a big salute. Wait, what was that? Something better, copywriter? Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When we think of Salmon Mac, we give a big salute. Huh. Interesting. Don't go anywhere, Frankie. Why would I go? I feel a hot streak coming on. Come on! All right, future vision. Oh, come on, Skunkape. Use your stinking hands. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Why did I think he'd do one of those lame-o ape moves? Where was the scissor kick? Okay, well, we know oh, some of them are. Skunkape's moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it... Oh, man. That was even more useless than usual. Okay. So, we can check the phone, it get costs the location. It lots of green to use this payphone. I remember when it was just a half bladder of lamp oil. <laughs> All right, when we come back, 
Wow, this is exhausting. Bye, everybody.